Well, hey guys, how you doing today? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We're having a fantastic day here. We are talking again about the Spark and taking it to a new location. So in the previous videos in this series, we talked about virtually visiting a new site and what to look out for in terms of obstacles, where to fly, and that, those sorts of things. So today, in today's video, we're going to go and physically go to the farm that we visited virtually in the previous video. We're going to be looking for all those items we found in our virtual tour on the maps, Google Maps, and uh, Street View, and make sure that we physically are safe to fly and figure out a flight plan, and then we're going to go ahead and go fly. So stay with us. The explanation is going to take longer than the actual process when you're in real life. But after we finish the physical kind of site survey, we are going to move on and do a physical check of our equipment and make sure that it is all good. All right, so once you have done your checks at home and you verified that you have the latest firmware, the latest software, you've done a Google Maps or, or Google Earth or something similar of the property where you're going, once you're physically on site, now this is where you start doing the checks of physical property. Things you're looking for are power lines, power poles, trees, tall buildings. Are you going to be flying high? Are you going to be doing low shots? Where are you going to be flying at? So in this case, we're out at a farm. We're looking at the property to figure out kind of a plan for where we want to fly. We're looking for obstacles that may get in the way of, of what our plan is. We may have tall trees. There's a big tall tree here, probably 70 to 100 feet tall. Back over here, you can see in the background, there's some power lines. There is a tree line off on the property line over there. And so you just get a feel for what's physically on the property. So was that tree that you saw in the virtual maps, was that actually going to be an issue? Is there other trees that you didn't count on that you didn't see in the virtual world that you're seeing now in the physical world? You really don't know a property until you're physically on it. And so in this case, we are on a farm. They have some sunflower fields over here. As you can see, in order to get good shots of the sunflower field over there, we're gonna have to be dealing with the tree line over there. There's power lines along this road here. There's the road there. We wanna stay out of the road. We don't wanna move over too far that way. We wanna stay in the field. When we're coming back this way, there are a few trees right here along this edge of the, the field. So they're not tall trees in terms of physically from this side, they're probably only 20, 25 feet tall. But from the field side, they're a bit more uh, impressive because you're up on a little bit of a hill there. So that's something you may not actually see when you're doing your virtual survey. So this farm, in addition to having some sunflowers on it over here, there's actually a Christmas tree farm just right over here. And so in order to get the, this whole property involved in it, you know, you'll be flying probably from this area over here, this corner over here, flying along the, the sunflowers kind of popping up, watching out for the trees over here. You're watching out for this power line along here. It's not very tall, this first one, but you'll see just beyond their property line is a really big power line here. So that's something you wanna, wanna really keep in mind. And you wanna note, probably stay away from for the most part. Uh, that's just part of your, your physical site survey that you do before you pull your drone out. We've moved to just a slightly different area on the same property. Got barns here, got a little shed here, and another barn right here beside me. This is a better view of the power lines over here, so this is something you really want to be careful of because they, they've got a lot of vertical height and come down pretty low as well, so that's uh, something you want to want to keep track of uh, as you're flying. So once you're on the ground and you're physically on a property, you're getting an idea of how you want to be able to capture that property. You got an idea in your head based off your virtual mapping that you've done. But once you're physically on site, you can really see the trees and you can see, you know, the fields and you can see how they, they, they connect to each other. And you can see the Christmas tree property over here. The idea is you really are, once you're on site, that's where you do your final physical safety inspection, get an idea for all the landmarks, keep track of it that way. I'm gonna turn the camera around here. You're gonna see here that we've got now multiple big trees right here. And 
the sunflower patch is just over through this way. So if you're traversing from the sunflower patch over to the Christmas tree area, these are trees you're really gonna wanna pay attention to. There's also some trees a little bit further over in this direction as well. And again, the road's over this way. Those are just things you wanna keep in mind as you're looking at a property and surveying it. Back over here behind me and along this road back here is where the Christmas tree patch is. And so this is where you're getting closer to more power lines you can see along the road here are power lines. Then you've got that big power line along the other side. So that's something you really want to keep track of. And this is, again, just giving you an idea of this particular property. There are more buildings here. And because this is a sunflower patch, there are, <laughs> you can see all those cars. When we came here, my wife is actually doing a senior session for a picture shoot for a, a high school senior. We didn't know what to expect, but apparently everybody else is out here as well for the sunflower. So once you get to the property, you got to pay attention, you know, where are the people at, where are the cars at, where are the roads at, all those different pieces. So there's a lot of pieces to go into. What do I have to do to stay safe and legal, more morally responsible? So it goes back to all those. It's one last thing in terms of the uh, physical safety is uh, be flexible. This farm that we came to here, my wife came to do a senior session for photography, take a picture of a high school senior. We thought we're coming out to a farm and nobody will be here. Well, surprise, surprise. There are six other vehicles here, all out, had the same idea. Be flexible on what your plan is. Uh, have a backup plan and uh, don't assume what you found in the virtual world is going to work out in the physical world. Quite often you're going to find obstacles that uh, you weren't planning on. You're going to find people you didn't plan on find cars you didn't plan on, just be flexible and uh, work with the site, still be legal, be responsible, morally responsible, and make some good decisions. So there we are.